Hey guys, welcome to another one of these enemy overview videos. Today we're going to be taking a look at everyone's new favorite, <laughs> the Kuva Trocarian. Apparently they are special units deployed to the Zeraman 10 by the Worm Queen herself. What that basically means is you'll only have to deal with these guys in Zeraman missions when Grineer is the active faction. Thankfully, for now. And before we get to the stats and nitty gritty stuff, if you play a lot of Warframe, I am someone who uploads Warframe content exclusively. Check out some of the videos and maybe consider subscribing. The Kuva Trocarians from afar could be mistaken for Kuva Liches as they do look really similar. Not a whole lot of Grineer units that tower over their other brethren, so it's not too difficult to spot one, unless of course if you're bombarded by multiple Thraxes. The Trocarians wield Kuva Karax and are equipped with Kuva Trocars, which are these Amphis-like spears on their backs. We'll get into more detail on these in just a bit. Stats wise, it is standard affair, cloned flesh which is weakest to viral, and alloy armor, meaning radiation would be the way to go. Thankfully these guys aren't EH HP monsters, as you'll see even at level 190 they have an effective health of about 1.2 million and 7.6 million when in steel path mode. Not a tiny amount, but easy enough to deal with. Now more on those Kuva Trocars. Those are the spears that these guys throw around that'll generate 10 meter radius bubbles that'll lock you out of your warframe and disrupt or disable transference while you're within the bubble's radius. The bubbles can only be destroyed via void damage and no, unfortunately once again, Zata's Whisper does not work. I tried. A 10 meter radius may not sound like much, but with how these Zeraman tiles are designed, you've got all these narrow hallways, broken walls, and pillars that obstruct movement, you could quickly find yourself in more trouble than you could handle. But in my opinion, the Kuva Trocarians are really only a threat when in large groups of other units, where they can take advantage of chaotic situations to toss those spears at you before being noticed. Alone, they are not much of a problem as you can see with a Rubico Prime built for radiation and crits. Taking down even a level 190 Trocarian is doable with one or two shots. That's also without any sort of Warframe ability or damage buff, so yeah, I'd imagine there are countless ways to one-shot these guys, especially at lower levels without much hassle. Some additional info you guys might find useful is that the Kuva Trocarians do drop the Gale Force Dawn stance mod for heavy sights. Though at a drop chance of 0.22%, I don't recommend farming these guys for said mod, if that is even a feasible thing to do. What do you guys think of the Kuva Trocarians? Do you think they're brilliant, well-designed foes, or just simply more annoying than Corpus nullifiers? I'd love to read your thoughts down in the comments. Also, I gotta get this in. If you'd like to support me making these videos, and god knows I really need all the support I can get right now, feel free to check out the Patreon links down in the description. Even $5 goes a long way. It really does. Otherwise, you can always join the Discord server, which is completely free. Invite link is always in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day.